So here we are with Dyson's new £449 on track pair of headphones. It's hi fi and also it has noise cancellation as well. But there's so much more to this that I really like, and we'll talk about bits that I didn't really like as well. So let's get on with it. Starting with the design in the box, you get your USB C cable, which is nicely braided. It's got the Dyson uh, branding on there as well, which is nice, a little uh, touch to have on the braided cable itself. We we'll put that to the size. Actually, it's kind of it's got a nice length to it, so that way you don't have to worry about being so close to the headphone if you need to charge it or anything like that. So that's that. And then we have this case that also comes in. And if you notice straight away, this case is flat. There's no. It looks like how is it going to fit into uh, this case itself? But what they've done is basically very smart because most headphone cases are too big or too bulky to carry it around and. Most of the time I end up just leaving them at home and just chucking headphones either around my neck or just literally just chucking in the bag and off I go. And over time they just look rough and tarty and all that stuff. Anyway, it's nice that they've provided this case that's in this flat sort of design. And what happens is this opens up like so and then you can pop your pair of headphones in the case and off you go. So you can then chuck that in the bag whenever you need to do so. And when you're not using it, you can pop it right out of the case and that's not flat, ready to be popped in your laptop position in a bag or whatever, wherever you want to put it, you can do that. And in the case as well, there's also a gap in there to pop your uh, USB-C charging cable. So you can just pop your cable in there so you never leave it behind. There's no 3.5 mil headphone jack or anything on this or cable to carry around with you. It's just USB-C. I'm not sure if you can listen to audio via that USB-C port, but that's something I'm gonna find out uh, at some point later on. And you need to download the My Dyson app as well, which is available on iOS and also Android. We'll talk about the app as well and go through what you can actually do in app as well. Moving on with the design though, uh, we can look at the headphones themselves. So we have 40 millimeters driver, 16 homes, neodymium driver here, which are very big. They're custom uh, as well with their algorithm and all that kind of stuff, which we'll talk about as well when we talk about the sound experience. Uh, but so we see this uh, three area here on the headband. And what they've done here with the headband is basically put the batteries in the actual headband on either side to balance the weight out as well. That way they've also been able to increase the battery uh, in terms of what you can do with it. So I think they quoted up to 55 hours of battery life, which is incredible when compared to the competition on the market like the uh, Bose Ultra or the uh, 1000WH1000XM, uh, whatever, from Sony. I always hate the Sony branding, uh, but yeah, uh, branding names uh, rather. So yeah, so in comparison to those, this has a lot of battery power to last you more than a day, which... Honestly, that's incredible. And then we look at the headband here. This is nice and soft uh, material. It's got this uh, foam in there that won't uh, become saggy over time. They've made it in a way that it just stays that way, pops back out when you're not using it. And it's just nice and comfortable when you wear it uh, as well. You can also extend the headband like so. So you extend here where most headphones extend right round about here. So this one extends right at the top, making it even more comfortable when you wear it above your head, which I think is pretty cool that they've done that. It's very smart. That would have done. This will pick up a bit of fingerprint quite often uh, on the touchpad area, which I've just touched on. <laughs> See what I did there. Uh, but this area is touchpad as well, so you can use that to control different things. Again, we we'll go through that in app when we start to talk about it. We get sound feedback as well every time you tap it to let you know that something is happening. This is the copper version as well. So it's available in different colors and you can have loads of different color combinations, different cushion color combinations, and so on and so forth. But what's pretty cool is you can replace this uh, CNC aluminum plate here. So by just rotating it like so, you're able to get inside this area and replace this plate with another color combination that you prefer. So if you don't like this copper finishing, you can just buy another one and replace it. I think it's around 40 pounds or so for extra ones in terms of the sets that you can buy. They caught me and I'll leave numbers on the screen in terms of the pricing for that. So you can replace both sides very easily and put a different color to suit your style. So if you're, uh, and it's very easy to remove and put the place back on as well, like so. Very straightforward to do. You free to rotate this, which also rotates like so. So this goes all the way flat. So when you pl place it around your neck, it would be nice and comfortable to place flat around your neck. We can then see the buttons available here. Uh, so we have our microphones, we have a USB C port with an indicator light next to it as well. And then we have a power button here, which also allows you to pair it up. And then we have this joystick here, which is nice and small. Uh, you can use it to move, uh, to, you can go up and down, left and right, change track, volume, and also press and hold to activate your voice assistant. So if you have Google Assistant or Siri, you'll be able to use that to uh, control it. And that's pretty much it in terms of the buttons. Nice and just nice and minimal in terms of what you can do uh, in terms of the buttons in there. And then we move on the inside, we've got the right and left Nicely written there, nice and big, so you never miss it when you need to wear it. And also, you got this nicely 
cushioned uh, cups, ear cups here. They feel very soft, very comfortable on here as well, which is really good. And this are actually tilted as well inside. So the tilted at around 13 degrees towards you here for more direct audio uh, straight in your ear, which is pretty cool that they've done that as well. It helps with the sound quality. This material here is actually an ultra soft microfiber. So it's nice and soft uh, over your ear. So it's not going to get irritable or anything like that. Changing the ear cups is also very easy. You just pretty much apply a bit of pressure, rotate it, and that comes out so you can actually replace these ear cups and replace it with a different color or whatever you need to do so. For phone calls and stuff, you have dual beam forming microphones which will pick up your voice very clearly. And I've used it for making phone calls uh, out and about and it works really well. There's no issues at all. They can hear me, I can hear them clearly. And that just is just what I expected. In true Dyson fashion, there's also real time sound tracking. With this, it continuously monitors your in here and external volume and will let you know when there's potentially harmful levels through live reports in the actual My Dyson app again, which I'll show you guys in a minute. The noise cancellation of this as well is one of the best in class full stop. It's really good. Uh, for example, uh, Dyson says it cancels 384,000 times per second, which reduces up to uh, 40 decibels. So external noise, no issues at all. It's gonna track it as well to let you know when it's too much. And one thing that's also cool is the frequency response. Where most headphones will go above six hertz on the lower end and lower than 20, around 20,000 or lower on the higher end, uh, Dyson are going from 6,000 all the way to 21,000 hertz when it comes to the frequency response. So now that I'm wearing it, let's go through the app to see what you can actually do with it. So inside of the app, it'll tell you that it's connected, shows you the battery levels as well. And also it's got wear detection. So if you're not wearing it, it'll tell you inside the app if it's not been worn. And obviously it's been worn, so it's not showing me that right now, but otherwise it would also show you that. So moving on, you have your noise cancellation levels. So you have noise cancellation, which is pretty damn good. And then we go on to transparency mode and then also just nothing, so neutral. If you put it back into transparency mode, so I can actually hear what I'm saying here. Um, every time you press it, you get like a sound feedback. I can't figure out a way on here yet to actually turn that off because it can be quite, quite jarring because it's quite loud when you put it on, especially uh, when you're listening to music, in between music, if you just tap it, it just gives you the sound feedback. That's just a bit too much. And then we'll move to the equalizer. So you have three equalizer settings. So if I tap this, it'll tell you exactly what they are. So you have enhanced, bass boost, and neutral. And you can see the sound signature there as you move along on all of them. One thing I did notice though, is when you look across them, uh, they're not really prioritized in the mid-level. So when you look at the bass in uh, enhanced mode, you see the bass is slightly up there. When you go to bass boost, things are boosted up a little bit more. And then in neutral, things are a bit flat, apart from the treble, it's just raised just a little bit, just to give you a bit of a oomph when you're listening to music. If we go back to that noise cancellation as well, it gives you more information in terms of what they are, uh, in terms of what transparency will give you, etc., and so forth, so on and so forth. And then this in true, again, Dyson fashion, this one be a Dyson product if they don't put this uh, exposure level stuff. If you use Dyson products before, for example, there, you'd be able to see like, you know, filter system and all that kind of some sort of charts is always there. But anyway, we have this here for the last 30 seconds. So you can see in-ear sound, which is okay, 76 decibels, and then you've got external sounds. So it lets you know when things are too much when you're listening to music and what's going on around you as well, which can be useful for your uh, for the health of your ears and or your hearing health. Uh, and then you've got accessories here, which allows you to buy all the accessories I was talking about. So uh, custom cushions, different colors uh, of CNC, uh, outer cups, and you can just choose whatever you want and buy them straight from the app. And then you've got data and insights. Again, just bringing that chart a bit to the forefront so you can see a bit more on there. And then this shows you how to support, discover more, and so on and so forth. So very straightforward, very easy to use, very simple. If I tap this settings here, uh, you've got things like replacing accessories, your serial number and so on. Head detect is on. And also preferences, you can keep volume at safe level. And that's pretty much what you can do in product settings. So very straightforward, nothing too much in there. It's not overwhelming. Back to the earphones, let's talk about the performance in terms of the battery life and also the sound quality. So battery life is pretty good. It's very close to that 55 hours that they quoted, even with noise cancellation, which is even more impressive because most of other products on the market today, as soon as you switch on your active noise cancellation, you start to reduce your battery life. There's more battery consumption involved. So this is pretty good. In terms of how it fits on the head, it's very comfortable as well. With those got a bit of weight to it, it's not that light. So you can actually feel it on top your head a bit of the weight and you've got those two batteries there as well which adds extra weight to it but it's balanced which is more important because it's not low-sided or anything like that you can adjust the headband very easily which makes it even more comfortable so depending on your head size you can adjust it to uh, to fit the ear cups are very big so they're on the larger side so if you're someone who doesn't like to have a larger pair of headphones out and about uh, this might not be the one for you because you look at the likes of the Bose or the Sony ones they don't have such a large size of outer cup like this, it doesn't look as big. Um, so that's something to bear in mind. 
Some of the stuff that I didn't write, I didn't like about the uh, uh, on track though, is the fact that this material here, as much as it's very comfortable and it's a soft material in a hot uh, temperature, or if you're in a hot room or on a sunny day in London today, for example, it gets hot very easily. It's almost like you're wearing, um, you know, an extra layer on top of your ears, so it keeps your ears nice and toasty. But in the winter, it might be an advantage and keep your ears warm. So that's something to bear in mind. Another thing is there's no IP rating. Uh, at least I can't find that anywhere, which is a shame because that just means now if you sweat or anything like that, I don't know how this is going to cope with that. But uh, Dyson does say this is very robust. They just haven't given it a rating. Another thing that the competitors are doing is things like spatial audio. This doesn't have that. So again, that's something that's missing, especially at the price point that's competing uh, with the other other brands. So for example, this is on par with a sound uh, with a Bose counterpart or comp competition. Uh, although you can pick that up now with reduced pricing, uh, but at launch it was about the same pricing. And then we look at the competition on the Apple side. Apple one is still expensive, it hasn't gone down in price. And then we look at the ones uh, from uh, Sony, That's that was like £339 or so at launch, and you can even pick them up at cheaper pricing now. So this is kind of on the more expensive side, but Dyson has a fan base that's happy to pay that much money for this kind of headphones, and you can put it in the ecosystem of all your Dyson products, and it's just what it is, and it's fine. You do get what you pay for in terms of sound quality, though. Sound quality is very good, especially with the treble. The bass is good, but you have to put on the bass boost to fully enjoy the level of bass that I've come to expect from my headphones. Uh, it's still not quite there, I'd expect. I wish there was more bass, and that's the only thing I was lacking for me. But when it comes to the clarity, of the instruments, the sound separation, and all that kind of stuff, it's really good. It's on the good side. So that's something that to at least take away. So the bass needs a bit more work, but everything else for me is very good. Another issue that I had with this is the on-head detection system. Sometimes it thinks it's on-head. So if you've heard throughout this video, I don't know if it came out through the audio or not, you can hear it beeping because it thinks, as I'm moving it around, it's doing it now. As I'm moving it around with my hands over the ear cups, it thinks that it's on top of my head. So that needs to be fixed as well. Maybe something that they can do in software. But that's everything from me. If this is your first time around here, please do subscribe. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below as well. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.